Hi guys. Today we will monitor the movements of animals using a GPS tracker. Let's check where pets go when they are out of sight. And not just pets. Everything started when a dog named Jack, who was guarding our hangar, suddenly snapped and ran away. The search was not easy and he was found only a week later. When we decided to measure the distance on the map, it turned out that the dog had wandered for two miles. However, he did not go only straight. Then we got an idea to equip the dog with GPS to find it quickly if the situation repeats itself. And at the same time we want to find out how far our dog runs and how many kilometers he runs in a day. Other animals will also take part in the video. There will be many interesting things today. We have already bought a GPS tracker. The cost is about $40, and the weight of the device is only 1 ounce. The device also comes with a collar, a USB cable with wireless charging, and a small screwdriver. We remove the back cover and install the SIM card. The GPS is ready to work. Its body is waterproof. We can be not afraid that we will lose contact with the tracking object because of the device's wetness. It remains to install the application on our phone. We can let our dog go. Let's start with Jack because it is he who has given this idea. The dog reacted calmly to fixing the strap with the tracker. This thing won't make him feel uncomfortable. It's 1.30 p.m., it's time to let the dog out. And he almost immediately goes about his business. Let's see how long he will run. It's even possible to find out what speed the dog will develop with the help of the tracker. This is the point where the most interesting has begun. The dog has learned to teleport. Jack has never gone over zero miles per hour. But he has been at different points on the map at different times. There are two options, either the tracker does not work correctly, or it is teleportation. Two hours later we arrived at the location indicated by the GPS to visit the dog. But Jack wasn't there. The app shows only 30 feet between us and the object. But there is no sign of the dog. Jack's been 600 feet away from the indicated point. The tracker position information is updated late. So we see information about where the tracked object was 10 minutes ago. As a result, the dog walked in the park 24 hours after the beginning of the tracking. He was glad to see us and immediately offered his belly to scratch him. Good job, Jack. So, what do we end up with? Point E on the map is the place where Jack was at 0 hundred on the first day. Point S is our hangar. It is near the hangar where he has gone the most. And also, judging by the map, Jack has swum across the pond three times. This pond separates two neighborhoods. This is complete nonsense for sure. And a huge minus of the tracker work. The principle of this GPS work is the following. The tracker fixes the initial and final points of the way. After that, the device lays a straight line between them. Thus, the result of the distance walked will be very approximate. Let's talk about the numbers. On the first day, Jack walked eight and a half miles. It's a pretty good result. But on the second day, Jack walked just over five miles. This is almost 14 miles per 24 hours. 
and it's even though the tracker draws the way in the form of straight lines. And if to take into consideration that dogs do not move like that, the distance will be even longer. A street cat Nikki will be next. To tell the truth, it doesn't appear to be fond of hiking. Rather the opposite. It stays in one place and waits for some yummy food to be in front of it. We fasten the collar with the tracker to the cat. When the cat was released into the street, it immediately lay down to rest. The cat turned out to have a more static lifestyle. It slept in different corners. Although it moved away to a distance of about 500 meters, and at night it went somewhere for a kilometer. It was a complete surprise for us. What did he need at such a distance at night? It was a mystery. Unlike Jack, the cat came back in the morning and fell asleep. We are more or less familiar with the dogs and cats' lifestyles but what about the owls? It settled down in our hangar quite a long time ago. Most of the time it stares down with its yellow eyes, but as owls are nocturnal, it must fly somewhere at night. During the day, it has to hide not to become a victim itself. So, it's time to explore its route. The owl likes to be in the hangar because there are so many secluded places. We aren't going to use the collar this time, it is very heavy for the owl. We have put the GPS on and the owl is released. But it doesn't hurry to leave the premises during the day. We will monitor its actions through the apps. It's funny, but the owl flew out of its hiding place only 1.5 hours after it got dark. And if the cat and the dog went for miles around the city, the owl decided that there was nothing for it to do and flew out of the city into the fields. There was probably a better chance of finding a mouse and having dinner there. At the same time, the owl moved very far from its daytime location. The distance was almost three and a half miles. But what's even more amazing the owl has been in motion for two and a half hours and during this time it's covered a little more than nine miles. Where does such a small and funny bird have so much endurance? The next day, the owl returned to its usual home. Unlike the dog and the cat, this one managed to get the tracker dirty. Now we know where animals go when no one is looking. That's all. Bye-bye.